And we're back. Uh, last time, uh, stuff happened. So, we've got all these. If only I could figure out what I knew what these are. One possibility of trying to figure out what are the safe scrolls are is when you've got enough scrolls, see which ones you've got a bunch of. Things like Identify or Light are more common, whereas the, I believe the more dangerous ones, uh, or the really good ones, aren't as common. Don't want to be reading them because Scroll of Amnesia, man. Ugh. That makes you forget things. It's a real pain. Why? I, ugh. I hate Amnesia. I don't know why it's in the game. Well, I mean, I do, but it's kind of just a pain. There's also Scroll of Punishments, which uh, makes you carry this heavy ball around. There's just not usually the... So you don't want to be reading these unless you know what they are. Or it's an emergency and you're just like, I'm, pro I'm going to die if I don't read a spell, uh, a, a scroll of teleportation, so I might as well take the chance. Okay, so what's this? A minotaur. A minotaur. That is not good. Oh man, I bet that's what killed them too. Let me give you a few things about Minotaurs. They're fast. They hit for a lot of damage. And they also ignore Elbreath. They're not what usually you'd find them a bit later. This is fairly early for it. Luckily, we have some good weapons and some good armor. Negative 15 AC is fairly good. But still, it's pretty dangerous, and I, for one, am going to get away from this thing. Oh, dang, it's following me. Okay. Think. Think, think. Wait, I've got a wand of death. That's no problem. Okay, I feel a little safer now. Okay. Um... I actually kind of want to see if we can possibly take it. Too risky. These guys can hit for a lot of damage. I think they I can hit for at most 78 damage in one go. Admittedly, that's a low chance, but it's still possible. And they've got a higher speed, so they might be able to do it twice. Like I said, that's with our armor class this low, that's not going to happen, but let's just be safe. I'm going to use this Wand of Death on it. There. Okay. There we go. And what are you, sir? Etin Mummy. Okay, I can handle that, I think. Funny thing is, we probably could have taken that Minotaur, but I'm still, uh... Be better safe than sorry, you know? That's, you win that hack by being safe rather than sorry. Are these things running for me? What's going on? Wonder. Oh, it's it's low health. That must be why. You are right to fear me, for I shall kill you. Ah, screw that. Okay, so we found a bunch of stuff. Still have no idea what the spell, what the scroll of identify is. Trying to decide if I want to keep going or head back to Sokoban and stash some of this stuff away. We're probably getting close to the quest level, and that's a really great place to stash uh, stuff. So I think I'm going to keep going until there. Okay, now well, we found all this stuff. Is there anything else that might be useful? Oh, and to indicate how the robe works, watch this. Fail chance, 38%. Let's take it off. 100%. You can see that it makes a big difference. By the way, a lot of things affect your spell casting. Um, chance of uh, knowing a spell. It's a fairly complicated formula, but here are the elements. Um, there's your class. Some classes can spell cast, cast spells easier than others. For example, barbarians have a lot of trouble, whereas it's second nature for wizards, as you might expect. What in the world? We're surrounded by uh, boulders. This is another bones file, I'm sure of it. This doesn't happen normally. I'm gonna guess someone must have used that for something, but what? 
I'm going to put on the towel and see what we've got. I think this is the big room. The big room is a big room. There's a lot of enemies around here, and it's often a pretty dangerous place because you can get so easily surrounded. Normally, the best thing to do is to try to get an Elbereth on your um, upstairs square and try to take down the enemies, or let your pet do it. Or just try to rush from one stairway to the other and hope the enemies don't get you. But this must be a, um, a bones file, like, like the previous one. Someone must have gotten killed in this big room, and this was... This is actually not a bad uh, technique that they used. They used the Scroll of Earth to surround themselves with boulders. Then they just destroyed one of them, so the enemies would only come after them one at a time. By the way, we can't see much because the boulders are obscuring the view. Now, is there anything particularly dangerous here? Now, is this a Mind Flare? Let me see. No, that's just a Dwarf King. Why do Dwarves and Mind Flayers have represented by an H? Okay. I guess we'll just take their strategy. Let them come at us one at a time. Okay. Man, there's some stuff that would be nice to eat the corpses of. Shame there's so many enemies here. Ah, oh, joy. <sighs> Great, and now there's all that stuff there I want. Hmm. I wonder if I should just go down. Fall down it? Maybe some of that other stuff will fall? Let's do it. Oh, yeah, here we go. Awesome. Okay, we got a Yeti corpse. Let's eat that. I don't think we got cold resistance, or did we? No, I think we did, because we got the full of hot air mess. Oh, I guess we didn't. Oh, the, I, yeah, oh, we have heat resistance. There was a momentary chill message we got at some point, I think? Yeah, I, yeah. I'm pretty sure we ate the Red Naga Corpse, got uh, Heat Resistance. I can never remember these things, that's a problem. But we got Cold Resistance now, that's good. My Gamble, Gambit, Gamble thing worked. Ah, but now I can't eat this. Which can give you Sleep Resistance. Still seems okay. Whoa! That's a, um... Treasure Zoo. In fact, they seem awake. I wonder if this is yet another Bones file. What I want to do is um, get back to the big room, find out where the person died, and see what they had. Okay, um, that was annoying. Hmm. Do we go back? Anyway, so that two-flower telepathic message, that's the quest level. Basically, the quest level, all, them ha all the classes have it, and they're different. Basically, there's a hidden transporter somewhere on that level. Let's go down again. Anything interesting, fell? Just ring mail, gargoyle, corpse, warg. Meh. Oh, a chest. Let's see what's in here. Nothing. So basically, you just kind of have to go around. It's in one of the rooms, and it's hidden. Let's take a look up, see what's going on. Okay, so this is the other side. We can probably take all these guys, but... Well, trying to decide if I want to do this or if I just want to go down and uh, to the quest. I think I can take these guys on. Or maybe not. There are a lot of enemies here. Okay. Ooh, cockatrice. Cockatrice, I mean, without a lizard corpse. Okay. Well, we're going to have to kill it sooner or later. Let's do it now. 
Okay, let me just double check. We were wielding unicorn horn. Yes. Okay, well, that was anticlimactic. Okay, killing. Yeah, our health is. As long as our health stays high, we should be fine. There, okay. So where is the grave? Usually it says what killed them on that gra on their grave. Oddly, there wasn't that for the one that we saw. Oh, faded Paul. That's nice. This is mostly important because uh, we don't. I like the robe more. Uh, this does give you stealth though if you wear it which makes you less likely to wake up sleeping monsters. The important thing is that it's a magic armor. So again, while polypiling, it has a chance of becoming something else magical, a higher chance, which is good because that's all the useful stuff. So it was weird that there wasn't a, a grave for that uh, one we were at, bef we saw before. Maybe there wasn't, I just didn't see it. Oh, we didn't put that away. I don't even see a ghost. Wait, oh, no, no, I see the ghost now. It's at blank space down here. Kill the unicorn. Well, we should probably be wrapping this up soon. I, I mean, I know, not, not even like this video, just this part of the playthrough. I've been, all these ones up until now have all been part of, like, one play. I mean, I've been, so, divided them up into different videos, but I've been here doing, um, it straight. Yeah, there's a ghost. Okay, so I think the ghost was here. This must be where all their stuff is. Killed by our gargoyle while dressing up. What must have happened was they were w putting something on and then they got killed while doing it. Opera Cloak, that's one of those randomized ones. I think I kind of mentioned it before, but I'll be a little more specific. I talked about boots. Some of the boots and some of the cloaks and uh, are randomized. Like an Opera Cloak, it could be uh, magic resistance, it could be um, a uh, cloak of displacement, it could be a cloak of invisibility, and it could be a cloak of protection. Well, we don't really care. Well, actually, no. If this is magic resistance, we'll want to wear it. And riding boots. Of course, they're probably cursed. Oh, all this stuff. I gotta put this stuff away. We're getting so much stuff. I kind of wish I had been I had show, decided to record the one where I didn't get so much great stuff. Like my previous Tourista, before this I played through as a tourist, and although unfortunately that one ended with me dying because I absentmindedly removed a ring of levitation while over water and drowned, I, yeah, I was kind of talking with someone else at the time, and that distracted me, and I somehow did that. That was embarrassing. But, um... I completely forgot where I was going with that. But that one, I think, was more interesting uh, in that there was less of this sort of lo uh, me getting all this stuff. I mean, I did get a good weapon off a uh, off a artifact sacrifice, but then again, like I said, then again, that was a pre I got Magic Bane eventually, I, and then I got the Amulet of Reflection, so I did have both of those going on, even if I didn't have, you know, quite as much of this stuff that I have here. So I guess I did get some lucky in that way. Well, like I said, I mean, honestly, you're, you get lucky somehow in all your playthroughs. It's just... So I'm probably talking more smack about luck than I really deserves. Okay.
Okay, now we've gotten these. Man, okay, that's another phrase I've probably said a zillion times here. So, Maxu, yeah, that's the name of a real player. They were here, they died, and now I got their stuff. I'm going to go back up and uh, identify some of this stuff. Oh, um... Dang. Oh, wait, yeah. I'm just going to use my Wand of Striking. Destroy. I thought I tried to use my Wand of Striking. I want it right. Oh, I know what must. I think maybe what's happened is that there's. There, is it possible that it might be possible there's multiple. Are they are they read multiple ones around them, and that this is just destroying some of them. Okay, well that one's just nothing happening. Was that happening before? Just nothing happening. Oh. No, it's just that not the first times. It zapped correctly, so. Do we have any other wands of striking? No, we don't. Well, this is the pain. Wait, no, 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 it's not. Wow, I'm being dumb. I can just move this here. Oh, unicorn horn, nice. And I can close this here. There we go, and now we can get back into here. One nice thing about this, because we know the quest is two levels below here, that makes this another great way for a stash location, because we've got an altar so close to us. I mean, the quest will be, once we get there. You know, I think once we get there, I'm probably going to um, call it uh, quits uh, for this. So many things we want to test. Come on. You know, I remember... Yeah, leg. You know, there's this one, um... Online, uh, game I played, um... Doesn't identify, so I think that means that this is, uh, magic resistance, which is very useful. Okay, um... What was it? Opera Cloak. I'm just gonna call it magic resistance? Well, wait, there's a way to find out. Do I have any, um... Mm, don't know if any of these are magic missile. Actually, I should probably identify these now. Let's do this. Uh, we can put away these, I guess, also. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see. We got these. Let's do this. All right, so now we got this. I think I was doing something important and then forgot what I was going to do, but um, I, I know I was going to do this, but I thought there was something else. Whatever. Let's identify. Let's see these. Vanishes. Okay. If it, this is incidentally why we put something on beforehand, because the wand of polymorph, which we saw before, won't identify if there isn't, and this won't identify either. If it vanishes, it means it's invisibility, teleportation, or cancellation. How do you find out what it is? That's a good question, and I'm going to answer it. This uh, first, you just need to get a uh, scroll. What's a scroll that we have that we don't really need? Um, we got teleportation scrolls. You know, we can actually use the spell book, why not? So, we zap, uh... Was it the rune wand we used? What, I, I can't remember which one we engraved in. Let me look back. Balsa wand. By the way, if they're cursed, they have a small chance of being destroyed when we use them. So, zap in this direction. Okay. S plain spell book. So, balsa is cancellation. 
capital letters to prevent me from putting in my bag of holding. I don't think I'm going to be carrying this around. These things are dangerous when you've got a bag of holding. So the cancellation one, uh, if it turns uh, the scroll in or um, spellbook into a blank one, it's cancellation. If it goes away, it's teleportation. If it's invis, I mean, if it vanishes. If it's nothing, then it's invisibility. Now we've um, now let's get to work on the rest of them, or at least we will in our next video. See you then.